Hello and welcome to High School Basketball on WOSN. Alongside Darn Evergall, I'm Evan Skilleter, and tonight it's opening night in Bath, the Bath tip-off tip tournament as Brian and Marion Local face off on the girls' side. Dar, the weather certainly feels like basketball yes, weather. It does. We are thankful to be inside on this cold Friday night and excited for this gym to heat up with some hoops. Yeah, we certainly are. And yeah, you're right, Evan. Outside, is, it's like 27 degrees outside right now. And tomorrow night, when we got a lot of football games still going on tomorrow night, it's not going to get much better weather-wise. But tonight, we get to concentrate on girls' basketball. And some good teams out here coming back in. You know, Marion Local last year finished 16-6. and six. You know, Brian had a good team last year as well. So. We expect some exciting basketball tonight. We got a new one coming in here with for sales coming in this year, you know, to face off against Bath in the second game, and you know that's always going been a good game as well. So I'm excited to see what the what you know basketball is going to be like this season because we're going to have a lot of games. This is just the start of Absolutely. what we got to come. And the Flyers wearing the white uniforms tonight start with Avi Unrast, Stella Hulsman, Chloe Ronnebaum, Lindsey Koenig, and Hannah Rose. Brian wearing the purple. Uniforms start with Kaylee Thiel, Ella Vogt, Reese Grothaus, Ella Rao, and Mara Smith as we've got an early tie-up. And I think we're just going to re-jump here, Dar, because I don't know if either team had possession, so they don't no, really have I an mean, arrow to go off of. Yeah, no, they didn't. They uh, both scrambling around down there trying to grab that ball. So we'll do it again, and this time Brian wins it. And they get right to the basket to start in an easy layup for Ella Voigt. Wow, that was, that was quick. They didn't waste any time whatsoever. Got the nice little break off there. Voigt was able to get down there on that sideline and just lay it in there. Now the Flyers back to work. Went 16 and 6 a year ago, 7 and 2 in the MAC. Dribbling up top is Lindsey Koenig. Koenig hands to Unrast. Now Ronavon back up top to Hannah Rose. Ball swung around. Unrast. Nice motion offense from Marion Local early on, but that one's knocked away and off of the foot of Lindsey Koenig, so Brian basketball. Yeah, Marion Local lost a lot of their scoring last year. I mean, the leading score they got back this year is Lindsey Koenig at uh, 7.2 points per game you know, from last year. But, you know, they lost some of uh, big players from last year as well, so we'll see. How they do, you know, adjust now this year. You know, who comes out to be their big scorer this year? Now Brian goes to work. Reese Grothaus hands it to Kaylee Teal. Now Mara Smith dribbling inside. That shot no good. Rebound pulled down by Ronabon. Yeah, Ronabon, you know, averaged four points a game last year, about two rebounds a game. Brian tips that one away. Neither team quite sure what was going on, but it is Marion local basketball. Hannah Rose to toss it in. Yeah, this is settling down to what, what we expected here in the early going. You know, both teams trying to fill each other out after Brian got off to a quick basket to start the game. But neither team been able to put any points on the board since then. Here's Koenig on the right wing, tries to dump it inside, pass too far for Chloe Ronnebaum. And another turnover for the Flyers early on, that's two. Yeah, they're trying to work it on the inside, get it into their big girls underneath the basket, and they just haven't been able to do that yet. Brian, nice defense for Brian on the, you know, up around the outside court to keep the ball out there as much as they can. Now Brian with the three-point attempt, that one too long shot taken by Ella Rao. You saw Chloe Ronnebaum go right through a screen a little bit ago, no call, but now we have our first foul of the game and that's going to be against Ella Rao of Bryan. Bryan coming out in a full court press. Yeah, I imagine the coaching staffs on both these teams are gonna try to throw as much as they can at each other, you know, to fill out a lot of the things, you know, in this early, you know, tip off classic. Sophomore Unrast able to break the pressure. Now gets it off to Hannah Rose. Rose lost the handle briefly, gets it right back. Now 
One Rast, three, that one's good. Good looking shot from outside. And the first bucket for Marion Local. And that wasn't an uncontested shot either. First turnover there for Brian too. Lady Bears step on the line. They stay in that press. And Marion Local with their third turnover as Koenig steps on the line trying to get around a defender. Brian, I, I watched him in, in pregame, and they shoot a lot of shots from the outside on the three-point line. They were hitting a lot of them, too. So, Marion Local really going to try to keep him on the outside as, as much as they can. But Good move by Thiel to get inside around two defenders. Finishes for her first bucket. Golden Bears lead four to three. And they take that one away and another easy layup at the other end. Ella Voigt, her first basket. Second, excuse me. Four points for her, 6-3 lead. And a timeout taken by the Flyers. Wow, and I'll tell you what, the, you know, Brian coming out here, they're getting those you know easy layups and they're able to make those easy layups. And a lot of times when you get that open shot like that, you just kind of let it roll off the rim. you know. But right now they're three for four from the field and you know they really are aggressive on defense. They're keeping Marion Local out from underneath that basket and forcing them. Now they got, Marion Local got their first three-pointer out there, which wasn't an uncontested shot either. It was a nice three-point shot there. But, you know, if Brian can keep Marion Local away from the inside of the basket and still exploit them on the inside, you know, that's going to be tough for Marion Local. 6-3 lead for Brian. 4.58 to go here in the first quarter. Brian will stay in that full-court press. Causing a lot of problems for the Marion local Flyers. And the other thing for the Flyers too is they they only have one shot on goal, and that's you know that's the three pointer. You know they haven't had any two point shots yet. Hannah Rose guarded tightly there by Ava or Reese Grothaus, excuse me, and now a turnover, another steal by Voigt. That's number five for Marion local. Voigt gets it ahead quickly to Grothaus, gets it right back, goes baseline, and she stepped on the line before the pass left her hand, so a turnover. Flyers get it back and again will be tasked with breaking that press. Almost job. taken away. Again, a good job by Brian to get on the inside. But there is a steal as Thiel comes up with it and Thiel with the easy layup, make it an eight to three lead for Brian. That press is very effective right now for Brian. The Lady Bears are just, you know, taking it away from Marion Local, forcing them to disrupt their offense. Stella Hulesman draws the foul. She'll have two shots. It's the first, excuse me, the second called against Brian. The first of the night against Kaylee Thiel. Hulesman was a 62% free throw shooter last year. First free throw up, that's good. A couple substitutes checking in. Nora Eckstein checking in for Marion Local and Anna Gray checking in for Brian. Second free throw, no good. Brian with the rebound, eight to four lead for the Golden, or the Lady Bears, excuse me. Here's Langendurfer inside, kicks it out. And a travel there by Kaylee Thiel. Yeah, she started to her left and decided, no, I'm going to switch it up and go to my right. And still shuffled her foot uh, to the left side. That's three turnovers now for Brian. Six for Marion Local. Flyers again able to break the press. Hulesman is fouled. She's third against Brian. Blaze Langendurfer called for her first. That wasn't much contact down there on that sideline. That was just a little touch foul, really. I mean, she just kind of dribbled past her and girl just kind of touched her a little bit. And now good defense around the basket. Two attempts for Marion Local, neither able to go down as Anna Gray grabs the rebound. Now Voigt dribbling up top, guarded by Ronnebaum. 
Nice little backdoor cut to the basket they go, and that shot was blocked. Mara Smith, the one sending it up, and I believe it was unrasked with the block. Jenna Kanapke checks in for Marion Local. Again, Brian finding a little bit of seam to get it on the inside there and go to the basket with it. Entry pass kicked away right off the foot of Kanapke. Those are those tough ones, Dar, where you haven't moved your foot, they just throw it right at it, but it still constitutes a kick. And she's like, what, what? <laughs> Ball up over the top for Teal. Now a dribble pull up, no good by Reese Grothaus, but an offensive rebound. Langendurfer goes up, she's fouled. Two shots coming up for Blaze Langendurfer. First foul of the game called against Marion Local. It's against number 14, that's Nora Eckstein. Good job of getting that offensive rebound too because there's two Marion Local people right there. First free throw no good from Langendurfer. Now Ali Allspa, the second of two players over 6'1 to enter this game for Brian, pardon me, over six foot. She's listed at 6'1. Kaylee Teal listed at 6'1 as well. Neither free throw good. Marion Local back to work on offense. Nice skip pass over to Hulesman. Hulesman dribbles inside, puts up the shot, no good. Offensive board, put back, no good. And Allspaw brings down the rebound. Marion Local just having a tough time getting the ball to drop. Look at nice that, move. getting inside and not able to finish, but Anna Gray with the good work. Nice little spin move there. Flyers trapped in the corner, no dribble. Now they get it away. It's unrasked, unrasked hits the deck, but able to get the pass away before so. As Kanapke sets up the offense. Kanapke, nice backdoor pass, layup, good. Unrasked with the basket. That's five now for unrest. Mary Locals cut it down to eight to six now with just almost two minutes left here in the first quarter. Grothaus sets it up up top now to the wing and Langendurfer. Langendurfer taking her time. She hands to Grothaus. Now Langendurfer outside, three-pointer on the way, in and out. Voigt not able to finish. Now the Flyers out in transition. Unrast, all the way to the basket. She's fouled on her way up. That'll be against Reese Grothaus. It'll be Grothaus' first and the fourth against the Golden Bears. I'll tell you, Evan, Marion Local has just made a quiet little run to come back in this game and make it eight to six at this point. But a lot of that is based on the fact they've got seven rebounds unofficially to just four for Brian. Now they're within one as that free throw falls. Hannah Rose checks back into the game. As, or Allison Dirksen, excuse me, checking in as well. Unrest was a 69% free throw shooter last year. Two good looking shots there as the Flyers tie it up, eight to eight. She has seven of their eight points. They come out in a full court press and they take it away. Hannah Rose jumps the pass. Rose gets to the basket, goes up nice off glass and in and the Flyers have the lead 10 to eight after the Golden Bears got out to an early eight to two lead. All spa hands it back to Mara Smith. Here's Anna Gray. Gray passes inside Ella Rao, and I guess there's a foul here. Foul called against Nora Eckstein. That's her second, team second. Kaylee Teal checks back in. For Marion Local, Stella Hulesman back off the bench. Reese Grothaus will throw in from the baseline. Grothaus in for Teal. Teal turns. And a foul on the shot. The 
This one will be against Allison Dirksen, her first, team third against the Flyers with 54 seconds on the first quarter clock. And Brian, an opportunity to tie this back up. They need to get, get these two free throws to get a little bit of momentum back. No good on the first one. Teal with four points tonight. Only player on the court right now for Brian with points. Second one up, that one goes. Make it five points for Teal. 10 to nine, now the Flyers lead. And that one almost taken away, probably a travel, there we go. Allison Dirksen just drags that pivot foot as she goes for the loose ball, so Brian takes over. Reese Grothaus sending it in from the baseline. I mean, Marion Locals really had to work hard to break that press that Brian's thrown on them here in this first quarter. And even when they've been able to break it, you know, they just haven't gotten the right shots. A double dribble called by the referee. That's turnover number five for Brian. Ball in for Jenna Kanapke as she hands to Unrast. Unrast brings it up. Unrast, just a sophomore, but she's done a nice job handling the basketball for the Flyers. As they go inside, Dirksen, double teamed in the post, sends it outside. Rose over the oh, top, nice, nice pass, pass, a foul, and the basket. Wow. That's a great pass over the top of the defender. Dirksen with her first bucket of the evening, and she'll have a free throw on top. Opportunity to expand this Marion local lead. After, like I said, Evan, an eight to two Bryan lead has suddenly turned into a Marion local game now. Dixon misses the free throw and Bryan hits it out of bounds. So the Flyers will be able to inbound from the baseline with 24 on the clock as 24 Chloe Ronebaum checks back in. Hannah Rose to send it in. Her pass tipped away and ultimately grabbed by the Flyers and Hulesman right inside. Go the Flyers. That shot no good from Dirksen. And last touched by Marion Local. Brian will get it with 13.6 on the clock. Again, another great move there by Marion Local after they took it away. That will do it for the first quarter. Score at the end of the quarter, 12-9. Marion Local leading the Brian Lady Bears. We'll be right back with the second quarter after this on WOSN. Back to Bath High School for the opening game of the Bath Tip-Off Tournament. Brian and Marion Local in the second quarter here. Marion Local leading this one 12 to nine. And they're on a 10 to one run. Brian was out to an eight to two lead in the first quarter and Marion Local turned on the Jets and Dart. Really seemed like they figured out that press and were able to break and get into those half court sets and set it inside. Yeah, they have been. And they've been able to get it on the inside, the big girls underneath there. That's made a big difference. They made some nice passes in the inside to get it, get it there. And, you know, like you said, they've been able to figure out the press. It's not been pretty figuring out that press, but they've been able to get the ball down the court. Now possession held down low as Brian takes it away. That's the eighth turnover now for Marion Local on officially. But, you know, that's been their only really downfall is Brian's been able to force some turnovers on him. Bears back to work. Langendurfer has it up top, dribbles to her right. Langendurfer forces a pass inside, and it's taken away by Hulesman. And six turnovers for Brian, so starting to balance out on the turnovers a little bit where Marion Local was in the deficit earlier on in the first quarter. 
Here's Hannah Rose. She pulls up, and how about that jump shot? Looking like Paul George from the mid-range. Yeah, she was. That's four points now for Hannah Rose. 14-9 lead for the Flyers, and they take away another pass. Chloe Ronnebaum going all the way inside. She has it stripped away. Brian was on the line. That was Reese Grothaus. A good recovery by Brian to get two, two defenders down there on her, you know, to take that away from her. But almost came up with another turnover, but stepped on the line and trying. Three-pointer from the corner on the inbound. It's no good. The ball literally hit the stanchion. No one sees it, so play continues. Langendurfer got the rebound anyway. Langendurfer all the way inside and passes it right to the defense. Hulsman takes it away. Hulsman. She stops and sends it outside. Here's Unrast. Unrast dribbles inside and held possession. That'll stay with Marion Local. All evened up at eight turnovers apiece, and that's a big difference from the first quarter where it was mostly Marion Local that was turning the ball over while they were trying to figure out that Bryan press, but now they're starting to take the ball away from Bryan. Rose will send it in. Rose looking for someone to pass to. Now sends it to Unrast. Unrast over to Rana Baum, and she took too many steps before she dribbled. Make that 10 turnovers, Dar. Yeah. Is that right? I don't know. Is my, I've got is nine. my math correct? All right. Well, Close either enough. way, that's too many turnovers. That's too many, too. Well, there's 17 altogether between the two of them, so it's a lot of turnovers in the first half. But hey, it's the first game, so, you know. Absolutely. Here's Langendurfer. Mara Smith now. Smith hands to Anna Gray. And too much contact there as Hulsman reaches in. That's the first foul on Hulsman, fourth against Marion Local of the half, 6.05 on the clock here in the second quarter. Marion Local doing a much better job of shutting down the middle on Brian. They were getting burned on those early, you know, breaks to the inside like that one right there. Good pass inside as Voigt able to finish. Six points for Voigt. 14-11 now, the Marion Local lead. Now Rose sends it over to Hulsman, Hulsman outside, three-pointer on the way. Unrast gets it, her second three of the evening. 10 points for Unrast here in the first half. Her team's out to a 17-11 lead. Well, it's obvious you can't leave Unrast out there wide open. You gotta get a hand out there and, and disrupt that shot because you let her out there, she's gonna pump it in. Here's Langender for a little slingshot over the shoulder. It's no good. Rebound pulled down by Voigt. Voigt in some trouble, and possession held. The arrow favors Brian. A lot of good hustle out there between the two teams, so, boy, they're not leaving anything out. I mean, they're going after every ball they can. Langendurfer thought about a three, now pulls it down, dribbles up. Scoop shot, no good. Rose with the rebound. Knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with Marion Local on the far side. All Spa will check back in for Brian, replacing Langendurfer. Rose bounce pass over to Ronna Baum, and that pass over everyone's head, and last touched by Brian. Both coaches doing a good job of shuffling in players to keep fresh legs out there. This, you know, this, like I said, this is the first game of the season for them. So, you know, you, you go through practices and everything else, but it's not the same as live action. Unrast looks like she's in mid-season form as she backs it out. Now sends it over to Hulsman who tries the three. That's too short. Fight for the rebound. Brian pulls it down. Quickly the other way goes Voigt. Voigt stops 
Now Ella Rao. Rao baseline floats it up off the side of the backboard. Marie said it hit the stanchion, so it'll be a team rebound for Marion Local. Rose will send it in. Brian's still in that full court press. Dirksen checks back in. Dirksen's pass, too much. Taken away, Anna Gray. Gray ahead for Rao. Rao, nice pass inside as Allspot finishes. Nice ball movement all the way around for Brian. That's Allspot's first basket of the night. 17-13, Marion local leads. Unrast needs to get across. Unrast finally does get across. She passes up to Rose. Rose over to Koenig. Koenig puts it on the deck. Now hands to Unrast. Flyers get inside. Shot no good by Ronnebaum. Rebound pulled in by Rao. Rao quickly the other way. Now stops. Didn't really have numbers as a three-pointer is attempted by Grothaus. That's no good. Erickson grabs the rebound. That's unofficially the 10th rebound now for Marion Local. Eight for uh, Brian. Tough defense up top by Mara Smith. Looking for a five second call, can't get it. Now Koenig floats one toward the basket. It's no good, Mara Smith with the board. Here's Grothaus to the basket, shot blocked. Good defense there by Ronnebaum. Now a three from the wing, no good. That was Anna Gray. Rose grabbed the rebound and possession held up. And it is Flyers basketball. A lot of action on that particular series with no points to call for it. But, you know, both teams are hustling really well out there. You know, just playing their hearts out here in this first half. I mean, like I said, you see the coaches shuffling in, a lot of players trying to get, you know, feel for who, who the best combinations are to be out there on the court together at the same time and also to keep fresh legs out there all the time. And that's a 10 second call against Marion Local. So Brian will take over with 243 on the clock. Reese Grothaus will send it in from the far side sideline. Brian just needs to get a basket here. Nice job taking that one away. Hillsman at the other end, layup rolls in. 19 to 13 now, the Marion local lead. Three points now for uh, Hillsman. Brian back to work, Grothaus, nice little crossover, gets free on the left side, oh, off nice. the glass and in. I like that one. Boy, that was nice. It's Grothaus's first basket of the evening as Brian pulls to within four. Unrasp passes to Rose, and it's taken away. It's Grothaus. Grothaus dribbles inside, goes up, <laughs> and a uh, oh. travel. Thought they were going to call an offensive foul because her arm was out, but either yeah. way, it's a turnover. Almost a nice little step through, though. Yeah, it was. I mean, it was a nice basket all the way around. Just too bad it just didn't count. Pass tipped right there by Brian. That was Grothaus. Now Grothaus is the captain of this Brian team. You know, a senior 5'8", she's out there showing it right now. It's, you know, playing some great defense, just disrupting Marion Local to even trying to get the ball down court at this time. I tell you, we really got a battle out there between Boyd, you know, and Unrest. Another floater going off the side of the backboard. Offensive rebound and quick shot taken by Dirksen. It's no good, but Unrast with the board. She turns around and she gets fouled on the shot. So Unrast with a chance at two free throws. She already has 10 points here in the half. 
It's the fifth against Brian, the first called against Ali Alspa. So an unrest last year averaged about just under five points a game, you know, 69% free throw shooter. First one goes. Ronnebaum checking in along with Lindsey Koenig. One to 15, both free throws good from Unrest. She has 12. She's four for four at the line so far tonight, too. Brian breaks the pressure, gets it up to Voigt. Three-pointer on the way from Grothaus. That's no good. Offensive board and put back good by Allie Allspa. She has four. And a six-foot-one senior showing her presence underneath there. Flyers break the pressure. Here's Ronnebaum. Jenna Kanapke now. Gets it to Unrast. She'll set things up once again. 43 on the clock and counting. First half coming to a close. Flyers up by four, trying to make it six. Here's the pass out to Koenig. Now Unrast. Still plenty of time. 30 on the clock. Unrast steps out. Kanapke now, 20 on the clock. Boy, there's no openings underneath there. You know, Brian doing a nice job collapsing on the middle. To the basket goes Chloe Ronnebaum. Good defense inside. Now eight seconds for Brian to do something with it as Voigt gets around the defense and puts it in. That's eight points for Ella Voigt now. And a block at the buzzer as the half ends with Marion Local on top, 21 to 19. A good basketball for you, a good basketball game for you here on WOSN on opening night. We'll step aside, second half coming up after this. Welcome back for the start of the second half here in Bath. In the opener of tonight's doubleheader, this one between Brian and Marion Local, the tip-off of the Bath Tip-Off Tournament. And to start this half, Marion Local leads 21 to 19, 19, excuse me, Dar. Evan Skilleter and Dar Nevergall with you. And Dar, a pretty good first half. It looked like Brian was going to storm out to an early big lead, but... Marion Local able to slow things down and ultimately escape that half with a two-point lead. Yeah, they certainly did. And if you look at the stats of the first half, you know, Brian shot 36% from the field. They were 0 for 6, though, from three-point range, so they got to rectify that real quick. Yeah, and then Marion Local shot 32% from the field. You know, they were, you know, 2 for 4 from three-point range, but 5 for 7 from the foul line. So that's what they really, you know, have taken advantage over uh, Brian in this game. Ryan with the early three-point attempt, no good from Ella Rao. Now Marion Local back to work as they try to send it inside in the pass out of reach of Stella Hulsman. Yeah, that's the only thing for Marion Local. They had 12 turnovers in that first half. First one now here in the second half. You know, you flew on the flip side, Brian though had 10 turnovers themselves. So, you know, both teams turned the ball back and forth a lot in this game so far. Rebounding pretty much even in the first half, 12 for uh, Brian. You know, you flip over the other side, you know, we had uh, 14 for uh, Marion Local. Not too sure what the delay was right there, but ball back into play. Brian brings it down the court with Mara Smith. Now Grothaus goes to baseline, sends it inside, eventually finds Kaylee Thiel. She can't hit. Rebound pulled down by Carly Ronnebaum. There's that first half, too, for Marion Local. 12 points for uh, for unrest, and that's really been the key for them. She's done a nice job of running the offense for Marion Local here in this game, besides putting points on the board. She's going to try a three from the wing. That's no good. 
Long rebound falls to Ella Rao, and Rao will bring it up herself. Now over to Grothaus. Grothaus, nice cross, gets inside, and she's fouled. Ball hits her right in the noggin on the way down. Reese Grothaus in that second quarter, the, you know, really took charge for Brian, did a lot of nice things, you know, got to the basket, got a nice couple shots inside, really uh, triggered that full court press that Brian was throwing on there, able to disrupt a lot of the play there. So she's done a lot of nice things here in this game. Absolutely, she hits that free throw. Chloe Ronnebaum tacked with her first foul, first of the half. That's yes, her third point so far for the night. Roadhouse gets them both. 21-21, just like that. And a nice job jumping that pass, and the ball just found Ella Rao. And Rao turned and shot, and that's four quick points for Brian as they take the lead. And that's Rao's first basket of the night. She says, thank you very much. I'll just throw that back up there. <laughs> that's right. Now Marion Local back to work as Hulesman goes up with it. It's off the side of the backboard. Rebound pulled in by Voigt. Voigt sends it ahead, but not able to find Rao as it's a turnover. Marion Local gets it back. First turnover for Brian here in the second half. 11 total for the game. Rose gets it in. Gets it back. Rose puts it on the deck, dribbles ahead, now sends it over to Unrast. Unrast's pass is knocked away by Grothaus. Yeah, Brian not backing down on that full court press at all. They're going you know, to stick with that through the rest of this game, too. And right there, the Flyers were able to break it, Dar, but they didn't really look to do so controlled. That's pretty much the MO of this thing. You know, They break that press, but they really don't have that much control after they do that. You know, they had a couple times when they've got some nice baskets out of it, but for the most part, Brian's defense has really been tough tonight, but somehow Marion Local's been able to find the bottom of the bucket. Roadhouse, or excuse me, that's Ella Voigt called for her first foul, first against Brian. That sends Rana Baum to the line. She hits her first for her first bucket of the night. Yeah, she was a 72% free throw shooter last year. So. Averaging just about four points a game. She hits both. Score back tied at 23. That pass is tipped, but ultimately finds the hands of Grothaus. And a travel inside. It looked like Ella Rao kind of lost the handle there, but referee said she didn't lose it enough to say she didn't have possession. Nice break right here, Unrast gets all the way to the hoop, goes up, her shot might have been blocked, offensive rebound, the put back no good by Koenig, and now a foul on the third attempt. That time it was Hannah Rose going up with it, she'll go to the line, and it's a third foul against Kaylee Teal. Well, Hannah Rose with four points so far tonight, this will be her first trip to the foul line. She was a 61% free throw shooter. So they had some good free throw shooting players from last year back again this year, which will be key for them throughout this season. Rose with five points. That one no good. Rebound tipped out, but ultimately finds Grothaus. Grothaus, high dribble. Referee says play on. Hands to Rao. Rao hands to Voigt. Now Anna Gray, and Gray's fouled. That three won't count even though it goes. Ryan leads, or excuse me, Marion Local leads 24-23. Scoreboard always confusing when you're at a neutral site between two teams that don't play here, yeah. and it just says home and guest. Nice pass inside, Ella Rao goes up. She's fouled on the shot. She'll have two free throws. Rao with two points so far tonight. It's her, her first trip to the free throw line. That's three fouls against Hulesman. Three 
Free throw no good. And that could be key as we get into the fourth quarter of Yulesman because she's a five foot nine senior on this team for Marion Local. She's replaced by Nora Eckstein. And Eckstein grabs the rebound. Both free throws no good. Flyers still lead 24-23. Here with 5-13 left in the third quarter. Ronna Baum dribbles to her left, hands to Unrast. Unrast trying to find somewhere to go. Now sends it out to Ronna Baum. That three no good. And Anna Gray grabs the rebound and she's fouled. Said 24, pardon me, no number 52, Hannah Rose tackled her first foul. And already four against the Lady Bears here in the third quarter. And this has only been a four to two uh, third quarter so far with uh, Brian leading four to two in this quarter. We've seen a lot of action, just not a lot of scoring. Nice crowd here tonight, really. I mean, for Friday night, the weather's cold outside. Well, they know what they're going to have to sit through tomorrow when the Flyers play. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that pass taken away. It goes right to Anna Gray, but she's not able to finish. Unrast able to grab that loose ball. Yeah, they're predicting some more snow tomorrow night and some 30-mile-an-hour winds, Oof. I think. Flyers taking on Allen East tomorrow night in the playoffs as Ronnebaum missed the shot. Brian comes the other way. Here's Smith. Smith, nice pass inside. Nice she move, too. Voigt, yeah. Voigt kind of turned probably the way she didn't want to right yeah. into the defender, but able to step through and find the opening to give Brian the lead back, 25-24. Her first bucket of the second half, giving her 10 for the game so far. And a timeout taken by Marion Local with 3.45 on the clock here in the third quarter. It's 25-24. Brian on top on WOSN. Twenty-five, twenty-four. the score here at Bath. Brian on top of Marion Local in our first of two games tonight in the Bath Tip-Off Tournament. Evan Skilleter and Dar Nevergal with you here. The Flyers trailing by one, sending it inside. This is Hannah Rose not able to finish. Unrast with the offensive board and now a fight for possession. It'll be a jump ball and it will stay at that end. Marion Local able to get it on the inside there a little bit there, but uh, again, Brian doing a nice job, you know, collapsing in on the inside. Not giving them some easy shots under there. Unrast, the one-handed pass taken away by Smith. Smith, nice pass ahead to Voigt. Voigt goes up, lost the handle on her way up. Eckstein grabbed the rebound, and now a jump ball, and it will be with Bryant. Reese Grothaus will check back in. She replaces Mara Smith. Pass sent over the top. Here's Anna Gray. Gray dribbles inside. Pass almost taken away, but Grothaus able to get it. Grothaus gets the screen. Nice roll. Oh, and the bucket in the foul. Ella Voigt on the roll. And how about the pass right there? That's a good little two-man game as Grothaus gets the assist. They've been real successful with that. And, and Boyd's done a nice job of getting to the basket and just laying that in there. But those passes on the inside to her as she breaks for the basket have been right on the mark. That shot up and rolls in. 28-24, now Boyd with 13 points as the Flyers break the pressure, but Unrast, or sorry, that was Jenna Kanapke who drug that pivot foot. They'll give it right back to the Lady Bears. Unofficially, that's 17 turnovers now for Marion Local. 
That is a lot. I know it is opening night. We've talked about that a couple times. You never want to see 17 turnovers in a game, and we still have a quarter and a half left. And you particularly don't want to see unforced turnovers, which is what that last one was. Three-pointer on the way, Blaze Langendurfer. That's too long. Last touch by, by Brian, so Marion Local get the ball. And Brian now 0 for 8 from three-point range. Knacky will send it in. Full court pressure from Brian, man-to-man. -man. Voigt pressuring. Flyers able to break it. And that pass just goes right into the hands of Reese Grothaus. Grothaus passes ahead to Langendurfer. Now a three on the way from Voigt. That's no good, but an offensive rebound. Reese Grothaus. Approaching the two-minute mark here in the third. Voigt, nice little fake, gets inside, lost the handle. She goes down, good sportsmanship there as Kanapke helps her up. I'll tell you what, Evan, this, this full court press with Brian is, you know, Marin Local has been able to break it, but it is really disruptive for them. And, they, and they've and they used a lot of energy, you know, trying to break this press constantly. And they turn the ball over just like that. So Brian will send it in from the sideline. That's the sixth turnover here in the second half for Marion Local here in this third quarter. Ball over to Ella Rao, now outside with Grothaus. She tries the three oh, and knocks out. it down. Grothaus now with seven points, extends the lead to 31-24. The first three-pointer for Brian tonight. They're one for 10. Now Grothaus gets called for the foul. That'll be her second, team third. Marin Locals desperately needs a basket right here. They got to break this momentum that Brian's building, you know, and get a little bit of confidence here in this third quarter. They've, like I said, they've turned the ball over six times here in the third quarter and just not have been able to get any rhythm going in their offense. Voigt passes up top. Now they go inside. That was Allison Dirksen who got her shot blocked. Grothaus dribbles up top, good handles, but nothing there, so she pulls it out. Now Grothaus into the paint. Grothaus all the way to the bucket, and she's fouled. She's got that ball on a string guard. I'll tell you what, you know, like I said, she's captain of this team, and she's really come on strong, particularly since that start of that second quarter. She's really starting to take over for this Bryan team, show the leadership that she's got, and she's been in not only on offense, but defense as well. First shot up and good. The foul was called on Allison Dirksen. And that's six against Marion Local. So Brian will play the last 107 and the entire fourth quarter in the bonus. Roadhouse gets both. She's up to eight points. 33-24, pardon me, that's nine points. And almost a steal right there. And nine points, and she only had two points in the first half. So she's put seven points on the board here in the third quarter alone. And it seems like the Flyers are really starting to struggle to break this pressure. They were doing a nice job in the first half, at least after the first couple minutes. And just like that, they give it right back. Eckstein lost the handle. Now, like I said, Evan, when, you, when you've when you got to constantly break a press all night long, it's going to wear on you. You know, physicality as well as, you know, you know, conditioning and stuff. You're working hard all night. Three-pointer on the way. That's short, taken by 24. That's Ronabom. Now Smith gets to the basket, sends it outside. Three-pointer on the way. That one's too long. Teal with the rebound, sends it out to Langendurfer. Langendurfer hands to Mara Smith, who sets things up with 33 on the clock. Guarded up top by Allison Dirksen. Pardon me, that's Chloe Ronnebaum. Smith picks up her dribble in a little bit of trouble here. Now she gets it off to Grothaus, but a timeout taken 
by Brian with 22 on the clock. It's a 30 second timeout. And I want to remind you that the free WOSN Scores app is the easiest way to follow local high school sports. No one covers more schools, more sports, and more scores than WOSN. Search WOSN in the App Store or Android Play Store. Well, the big thing here for Brian here in this third quarter is not only the emergence of Reese Roadhouse to take over you know, on the scoring part for them, is the fact that they've only had two turnovers here in the third quarter where they had 12 in the first half. You know, on the flip side, Marion Local now is, is up to 20 turnovers, you know, seven here in the third quarter. So that's been a big play. And like you said, Evan, a lot of it comes down to the fact that now they're starting to wear down a little bit, I think, trying to break that press, and they're just not being at very crisp passes, you know, in breaking the press. Or the, in the last case there was an unforced error. You've seen a lot of, you know, two or three unforced turnovers here for Marion Local here in the third quarter. See if Brian can get the last shot here, leading 33-24. We try the backdoor pass, and it's taken away. Now 10 seconds for Marion Local. It's Ronnebaum. Ronnebaum dribbles, or excuse me, passes. That shot's oh. blocked. Now maybe a chance for a last-second heave, but the Bears run out of time, and they lead 33-24 at the end of the third quarter. We'll step aside. We're coming up after this on WOSN. Welcome back for the start of the fourth quarter here in Bath. It's the first of two games tonight of the Bath Tip Off Classic. Aaron Local and Brian going at it here, and Brian. For the nine-point lead, 33-24 as we begin this fourth quarter. Evan Skilleter and Dar Nevergall with you tonight. Jacob O'Neill on the top cam. Kelsey on the baseline. That was a 14-3 Brian third quarter. They did a lot of work on the defensive end, but right there, Marion Local coming out and scoring the first basket as Unrast puts it in. Unrast with 14 points. She had 12 points in the first half alone. So that was her first bucket here in the second half. Backdoor pass knocked away by Kanapke and a jump ball. It will be Brian Basketball on the held possession. Yeah, they did a nice job in the third quarter on Unrast, just keeping her away from the basket and not giving her any open looks on the outside as well. You know. But that's one player that really, for Marion Local, has to really turn it on here in the fourth quarter for them. Here's Anna Gray. Gray's pass tipped away. Eventually finds Kaylee Teal. Now a three-pointer from the corner. No good from Gray. And a nice rebound by Hulsman. Unrasked quickly the other way. And she's fouled. It'll be foul number four against the Lady Bears. And the first against Mara Smith. And Marion Local knows it too because they're trying to get the ball into unrest too and let her take it to the basket. And in that case there, she was able to draw the foul. Unrest three, no good. Looked good for a while. Langenderfer pulls in the rebound. 33-26, Brian leads. Under seven to play in the fourth quarter. Yeah, 23 rebounds for Brian unofficially so far. Teal gets inside, passes it out. Smith, open look, no good. Offensive rebound and a foul on the putback. That'll send Voigt to the line. Voigt has 13 points. That's foul number seven against Marion Local. Number two against Hannah Rose. And Voigt's second trip to the foul line. She's one for one so far. First free throw up. And good, Reese Grothaus checking in for Brian. Chloe Ronnebaum checking in for Marion Local with 6.44 on the clock. Right now with Brian, with you know, Reese Grothaus getting a well-deserved rest right at the moment. That free throw good, 35-26. Almost the travel on the inbound. Referee says no. Play continues. And yes, you. Nope. 
three-pointer on the way from Unrast. And as I say that, I realize you can't travel on an inbound after a made bucket because you are allowed to move the baseline. Unrast, though, with a big three-pointer now with 17 points. And a big steal right there. And a foul against Bryan. That'll be number five. Foul called against number five. That's Anna Gray. Yeah, five points now for Unrest here in the second half. 17 overall. And a big steal right there to get the ball right back for Marion Local. So, you know, Unrest, a five foot six junior, and she's really working hard out there. You know, Marion Local still trails 35 29, but not if she can help it. Pass for Rose taken away by Anna Gray, or at least tipped away, but Bath stays in possession. And a big block right there. Wow. How about Teal blocking the shot of Unrast, but Marion Local able to retain possession. And now the sixth team foul against Bryan. That's the third foul against Bryan's Reese Grothaus. Rose will inbound. Rose over the top, now inside. Here's Koenig, Koenig turns and makes the basket. Four point game now, 35-31. That was a tough shot and that's Koenig's first basket of the night too. It couldn't come at a better time for Marion Local. Brian with Grothaus on the wing, steps back, three, that's oh, good. Look How out. about that bucket right there? Talk about a pressure three-pointer, the second one of the night for Grothaus and the second one for, for Brian as well. 38-31, big response there from the Golden Bears. Now they try to go inside, Teal knocks it away, it ends up with Grothaus. Grothaus, one-handed pass, good look. And that is good. Ella Voigt with the basket. Yeah, that's money in the bank if you get Ella Voigt to get in there where she can make a layup because she hasn't missed one tonight. Unrast breaks the pressure and a foul called. And they were actually trying really hard to get Grothaus out of the game with those three fouls. Oh, and they actually call it against Smith. So Grothaus might have gotten away with one there. Roadhouse might be cramping up a little bit. I think they're, that's why they're bringing her out right now. You might be right as she takes a seat next to the bench and starts stretching out. Unrast at the line. That was foul number seven, so one and one here for the Flyers. Unrast rolls it in. That's 18 points for the sophomore. Six for six at the line. Make it 19 points, 40 to 33 now. The Lady Bears lead. Smith picked up her dribble. Now Teal passes it ahead. Floater up and good. Ella Rao with the basket. Four Rao points now for Rao in the second go. half. Now Unrast breaks the pressure. Unrast, nice pass inside. Shot short. Offensive rebound, follow up no good. All spot with the rebound. Now Smith up top, takes a breather. Four minutes on the clock, nine point lead for the Lady Bears. Yeah, Brian weathered that storm a little bit by Marion Local when it looked like Marion Local was gonna make a come back and get in something. Brian was able to, to weather that to build the lead back up to nine points. Unrast takes it away, gets it up the court. Flyers back to work. This is Koenig, nice pass inside, but the shot no good. Now a foul that is against Unrest. her first. That's team number eight. And so Blaze Langendurfer will shoot one and one.
I tell you, Brian really went. That third quarter was a 14 to three win, one quarter for Brian, and that really turned this game around. And Marin Lopez just not been able to recover. They got close again within four points, but then Brian stretched it back out again. And that's point number one for Blaze. Langendurfer second on the way. That one's too long. Off back iron and a jump ball on the rebound. The arrow favors the Flyers. 3.32 on the clock. Nine point lead still. So far, I got 21 unofficial turnovers for Marion Local, 17 for Brian. So. Sloppy opening night. For these two teams, three-pointer on the way. That's too long. Shot taken by Rana Baum, but an offensive rebound. Unrast backs it out, guarded by Smith. Yeah, 24th rebound I've got for uh, Marion Local tonight. Unrast dribbles a bit high, but no problem there as Rose bounces it off of the leg of Langendurfer. Three oh four remaining with a ten point deficit for Marion Local, so they really need to get something on this possession here. And that wasn't what they wanted. No, but they get away with it because Brian was on the line when they grabbed possession. That's Ella Voigt that grabbed it. Six players on the court. There we go. <laughs> well, that's one way to do it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you can get, get away with advantage. it. Flyers get it in with Lindsey Koenig. Koenig traveled. No call by the referees. Loose ball. Tracked down by Unrast. Well, what great defense by Brian right now. They're denying the middle and they're really going after Unrest. Unrest wanted to go inside over the top, but instead pulls it out and passes to a cutter who wasn't there anymore. Myra Smith has really done a great job out there on Unrest here in this second half. She's a tough defender, no doubt about it. A five foot six junior, and she's just been all over her. Two and a half to play in the fourth quarter. 10 point lead for Bryan. Inside and a little scoop layup, no good, but an offensive rebound and the put back goes. Ella Rao with the basket, she has six points. 12 point lead for the Bears. And Ella Rao's six points have all come here in the second half. That ball kicked away. I really think that that full court pressure that Brian's had on this entire game has really worn this Marion local team down. I think you're right, Unrath's shot right there just came up short. It looked like she just didn't have the lift on her legs to get yeah. it there. And she's been in there the entire game. Yeah. She really hasn't had much of a break, you know. And she's ran the offense and you know, a load of the scoring here for uh, Marion Local, and you're right, Evan, she just didn't have anything to get on that shot there, on that three-point shot. Unrass knocks away the inbound pass. She's only a sophomore, too, and boy, she's really done a nice job of running this Marion Local offense. Smith brings it up the court for the Golden Bears, who lead by 12. Under two minutes to play. They hand it to Grothaus, but a timeout taken. With 141 on the clock, it's a Bryan timeout. They lead by 12 here at Bath High School. We step aside. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN.
141 to go here at Bath High School. 45-33, Brian on top of Marion Local in the first of two games in tonight's Bath Tip-Off Classic. Evan Skilleter, Dar Nevergall with you. And right now the Brian Lady Bears having a nice night, especially here in the second half. And a foul on the shot will send Kaylee Teal to the line. Yeah, Brian trail, uh, trailed 21-19 at halftime, but they, you know, 14-3 third quarter, and they've continued to add on to that here in the fourth quarter as well. And just played a nice game all the way around. Free throw good from Teal. She has six. First point in the second half. She had five in the first half. Foul, by the way, called against Hannah Rose. It was her third. Teal second on the way. That's no good as Rose pulls in the rebound. Rose quickly the other way. Three-pointer on the way. Unrast well short on that one. Pardon me, that was Stella Hulesman with the shot. Unofficially 27 rebounds for Brian to 25 for Marion Local. Brian doing a nice job here in the second half recovering and and getting those rebounds and offensive rebounds as well, too. So they've had a couple extra shots. Ryan working it around up top under a minute to play and a 12 point or excuse me, 13 point lead for them. This one likely over as Anna Gray lost the handle. She's mad at the referee for getting in her way, but bottom line there, she lost the handle herself. See, that's turnover for one to the referees. Nice. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Credit the steal to the refs, I suppose. <laughs> Unrast sets up the offense, gets inside, now sends it out to Chloe Ronnebaum. Marion Local has gone to their bench. Unrast out to Audrey Winner. Unrass tries the three. That one won't go. Like you said, or like we said, you know, those legs just not no, there right no. now for Marion Local. And it looks like that will do it with 15 on the clock and counting. And Marion Local just two for 14 from three point range tonight. And those, those two were unrests, but not here in the second half. She had one in the second half, well, three for 14. She had two in the first half and one in the second half. Final buzzer sounds here at Bath, and it is the Bryan Lady Bears with the 46-33 victory over Marion Local and tonight's opener at the Bath Classic. Coming up next, it's Bath against Versailles. For Dar Nevergall, I've been Evan Skilleter. Stay tuned.